So, Conor McGregor and USADA. Now, I got to tell you, this is one of my favorite fights. It's a fight that I was not expecting. It was a fight I didn't know was going to happen. This is an interesting fight. And this fight has been brewing. By the way, Conor McGregor came out yesterday, and this was very interesting. Conor had gone, let's back the tape up. Conor had gone in studio on Errol Hawani's show. So he gets to a shady part of New York, gets in an elevator, drops into the ground, follows the Lay's potato chips and the Dorito nacho cheese trail and makes it to Ariel Studio. That's a side note. And if you guys understood that, you understood it. And he reveals that he is not going to have to wait six months for USADA. That the information that you're being told is not true and it does not pertain to him. I am paraphrasing, I am not quoting. It'd be more helpful if I was quoted. Because each word, when you're in a debate, right, each word matters. Everybody's first day of, of law school, my sister's a lawyer. Everybody's first day of law school, wherever you're at in the country, they all get told the same, sto same story, which is where the cop pulls the guy over. Says, you've been drinking? And the guy responds and goes, I've been drinking? And the cop writes it down, gets to court, tells the judge under oath, he said, I've been drinking. Leaves out the question mark, leaves out the explanation, leaves off the period. It changes it completely. So I will fully admit, while I'm not paraphrasing, each word does matter, but I'm getting you pretty close, right? We're loose guys. We're just commenting over here. God, this is what Connor said. Usada came on the back of it. Now, Usada said that is not true. Connor is not in the pool. When Connor enters the pool, he will have a six month clock, and that clock will start the day that he enters the pool. Usada revealed this. That is not scathing. That is very in line with USADA. USADA will speak. They have a policy that you go first. If there is a lie, if there's a rumor, if there's misinformation that's out there in the media, I just want you guys to understand this, that's helpful to you, and it's negative to USADA, so you do what a smart person would do, which is you sit back and you let it go because it's helpful to you. USADA won't do a thing. Even if they know they look bad in that rumor, even if they know that the speculation and the thing that's gaining headlines and even public opinion, they look bad, they will do nothing. They'll take it on the chin unless you speak. Then they will respond. I'm just sharing with you. This is very in line what USADA did, and it was also appropriate. And I don't agree that it was scathing for the record. I think it was them clearing up and they got a, they got a, there's a massive PR arm to USADA, and a lot of people really don't like that. They don't like the jackets, and they don't like the 25 clean, and they don't like when Novitsky comes out and speaks about it. There's a massive PR element to USADA. So you, you do what you want to judge on that. I got to tell you, as a guy, even has been on the wrong side of USADA, I think it's polite. I think the policy's very above board. You're an agency, you're doing multi-million dollar business, public opinion does matter. You come out, you do a little bit of PR. But I'm sharing with you because Conor McGregor came out after USADA said this and he said, man, I'm sick of these guys. Every time I say something, they come on the back of it and they make me look like a liar. First off, I'm not a liar. Everything I told you is true. And secondly, USADA, don't go head to head with me because in an equation of what is important here, you're not it. Well, Connor's pretty damn close on that. that, that they do not matter. That, that's true. That's, that really is true. Anywhere where USADA is, that organization doesn't gain value. It doesn't gain esteem. And there was times in history where that statement wasn't true. There was times in history where people were really coming for MMA, just like they had it in baseball. They, they didn't care, and it didn't actually matter, and it didn't affect any revenues or any fans. And it, truly, not at all. But it created some bad press. So the people thought, hey, we got to come in and fix this. And they brought Usada. But I'm just sharing with you, like Connor's point that they don't matter and they're not the A side, that's true. People do not care at all if somebody's taking a performance enhancing agent at all. The Olympics ratings, just by example, didn't go up when Usada got involved. Usada was involved, just by example, they were involved with the Olympics for decades before anybody even knew. That's how unhelpful. That's how much they don't matter. And that's Connor's point. Connor said, you don't want to go head to head with me. Now, in most worlds, Connor would be the A side of this. 
what I'm sure Connor understands and it's more belly who, but I just want to make sure that you guys understand they're under contract. They've got the UFC under contract. There's going to be $10.4 million. that's going to change hands and athletes are going to be tested 365 days by USADA until this expires. That's just the truth. So Connor's not going to be able, no matter how big he is, to do a workaround. He's not going to be able to get a one-off. He's not going to be able to fight somewhere where USADA doesn't have jurisdiction. The contracts aren't overly sophisticated. They're pretty easy to understand. And what I just said is true. I'm just telling you the debate. I'm just telling you the debate because I love it. I love that McGregor said this. I love that it pissed him off. Because quite frankly, when USADA does come on the back of everything that Connor says, they do make it look like he's lying. I'll tell you in all fairness, I thought that he was. I don't love to use the word lying, by the way. People are quick to throw out lying. You say left and someone says right. One of you's lying. Well, not necessarily. Let's start with one of us is wrong. Who should know the rules? Who should be right? I got my maniac back there. Hey, Daryl. Well, who should know? All right? I mean, you got to understand that. If something was explained to Connor and Connor goes out and says it to Ariel and Connor believes it to be true, if you were to really look at the fine print and find out who, which side is right, they should know and they probably do. And when they do come out continually to whatever Connor says and they say something different, it does make it look like he's lying. I'm not upset if he was. I think he's got the right to tell his story. I think he's got the right to have fun. I think he's got the right to go on aerial and enter to entertain. I'm walking the fence here. I understand that I am. But I'm sharing with you, I like the battle. Now, that's not going to end well for McGregor if he thinks he's going to fight in the Ultimate Fighting Championship and Sai Sepu Stadium. That's not going to end well. However, it's not going to be the greatest thing for the United States Anti-Doping Agency if they want to go head-to-head -head with the biggest mouthpieces in the sport, right? Eventually, you're going to get guys like me. You're going to get enough of me's that come out and say, you've never helped anybody. You didn't help the Olympics. You didn't catch anybody in the NBA. You've missed the NFL. The UFC signed you, and guys are sidestepping it left and right. I mean, eventually, that side is going to come out. Eventually, so you're going to get enough guys like me that come and say, you cost 10.4, and we did this at a time that we wanted to sell, and maybe the valuation was good. That's sure what Kevin Ioli and the company said, but they really didn't know our numbers anyway. And quite frankly, that, 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 that seven figures a month that I'm paying you and I'm not getting back, I really don't need you next time. You're going to get enough of that at some point where somebody is going to sit down with brass tacks and goes, why do I have these guys? The commissions, which are the government, have the right to do this very thing and do. So now I've even got a redundancy working against myself. If somebody passes, nothing good happens to me. But if they fail, something very bad happens to me. And I'm paying to create that problem. You're going to get enough of me that comes out and is right. And they're going to come back and say, those are drug cheats and they did it wrong. And they're going to be right. But one of us makes money, one of us breaks even, and one of us is a great big loss. And the first step and the first swing to this fight has been thrown. And it's been thrown by the start's sports biggest star. Biggest star came out and told them they had better quit speaking up. Biggest star came out and said, you're making me look like a liar, and I'm not. They have a history of responding. But they didn't respond to that. They've been called out by the sport's biggest star who says, you are making me look like a liar. You don't matter as much as I do. Where's their response?